Now, outside Parliament, a gathering of supporters from both sides of the political divide, Carla Palma was among the many watching the heated exchange between them. Barricades, although strategically placed in Rosson Square in anticipation of a large crowd of demonstrators, were clearly not needed, as the show of supporters of both the Progressive Liberal Party, PLP, and the opposition free national movement, FNM, were limited in numbers. Even though there was a handful of supporters on either side of the political divide, for those assembled, their voices were loud and each one in support of their respective leader unwavering. In fact, supporters took their heated dialogue through the side street of Parliament. With a heavy police presence, authorities had their work cut out. While support of each political leader and party were the overriding factors for the residents showing up, there were also other concerns being expressed. Based on some remarks that were uh, reportedly said by the former Prime Minister. Um, and I think that those remarks were not becoming of a former Prime Minister. I'm here, I'm here to support Dr. Minnis as an FNM supporter. And I thought that those statements of the voice note I heard from the chairman of the Progressive Liberal Party uh, was reckless. I'm here to support uh, the current member of Parliament for Kalani uh, because I'm an FNM and he's an FNM. I come with you just to show solidarity to our Prime Minister. No violence. But we want to know with all the alleged corruption that went down in the FNM government, why has nobody been picked up or locked up yet? They must understand that the Bahamas belongs to Bahamians, not FNMs. Okay? Um, uh, if we come out here to support our government, we have every right to do that. Okay? And as far as I'm concerned, what my government is doing today is what their government did not do yesterday. Should have been picked up and hauled before the court for what? what for what, threatening what, the what, prime minister? Lies! All the garbage. Lies. If, if, lies if, if it was you threatening the prime minister, would you be threatened? Would you be picked yeah, up? Surely, beyond today's lively and heated discussion by these PLP and FNM supporters, the debate will continue. At the House of Assembly, I'm Carla Palmer, ZNS Network News. For as long as we've been a country, these islands have been a favorite for royalty. And for as long as the royals have adored us as a people, we've always been hospitable and gracious hosts. From a colony to a nation, now on the cusps of its golden anniversary, these shores have celebrated royal visits with class and dignity that is wholly Bahamian. As Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth celebrates her platinum anniversary on the throne, the islands of the Bahamas welcomes the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge on this, their first visit to the country. Our coverage starts Thursday, March 24 at 4 p.m. and continues through their departure Saturday, March 26. The ZNS Network, your home for the royal visit, William and Kate.